Hello friends. In this session, we will discuss how to get the sum of array in JavaScript. So basically, we will discuss multiple methods or the ways to get the sum of array in JavaScript. Okay, so you can see we have an array here in example. Okay, and we have written this much ways you can get your sum in array. Okay, in JavaScript. So we will discuss each by each. Okay. So let's start with for in loop. Okay. So let have a function get sum, and we will pass the array. Let's suppose. Okay. And what will we have here? For there, or you can say let. I in and array, okay, and you will have some. Let's suppose total is our variable to get some, and we have to get it from array index, okay, and you can define total equal to zero, and then you will return. Total. Okay. So we will console the result. Console dot log, and we will call this method with parameter array. So in console, you can see we have fourteen as a result. So if you can add as add as well ten, twenty, thirty, and ten, forty. Okay. That means we are using for in a loop. Okay. For let in i in array. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So this is your method one. Method one to get for loop. Okay. So now we will go for the method two, which is normal for loop. Okay. So in normal for loop, we have i is less than equal. Well, let i equal to zero. We will start from the zero index, and i is less than array dot length, and i plus plus. Okay, so you have, you can have to it take it out here as well. Let Length equal to, and you will just so each time you don't have to get the array length. Okay, so you can see it is the normal for loop. I equal to zero, I less than length, and I plus plus. We have achieved this two. Okay. Now go for the method three. In method three, we will use the let of okay, which was introduced in the ES six let uh, value of okay. So for that, we have should have total and length okay. Length we will not require here. So let value of let suppose. Value of and we have an array here, and this one will be the value. Okay. So you can see in console we have fourteen output. That means we are using the let value of array inside this one. Okay. Okay.
Now we will go to the method four type. Our method four is for using the reduce. So we will use the inbuilt function reduce. Okay, so for that we will use array dot reduce and reduce will have four parameter. Okay, so we will only use the first function means previous value and current value. Okay, so let's suppose our previous value is this one and current value is this one. And what we will return, we will return previous plus current and we will get some initial value. Okay. And then we will return. Okay. So this is the simplest way using the reduce. Whereas for loop is much convenient and faster than uh, reduce. Okay. So try to use for loop. Okay. So this is using the reduce. You can have another method type 5. Which is reduce right. Okay. So we will go for method five, which is using the reduce right. So you can use the right as well. Okay. So you can see here we are using the reduce right. Okay. So reduce right will start from the right of the array and it will give the same result if you want to make some of any array okay so now come to the method six which we will use for five six with while loop okay so we will use while loop one from starting and from another from the end okay so if you have to use from the start then you can use we can have uh, Return yes total and uh, we will initialize total let total equal to zero. Okay, then what we will do, we will add let suppose index i equal to minus one. Okay, and we will write while i is less than array dot length. So what you can do, you can uh, also take out the length as well outside. Total L is equal to array dot length. Okay. Now we will have compared with length. While this one, you can have returned with. Uh, sorry, you have to add the total equal to, and you will have from the index array i. Okay, so so we are getting this one zero. Now what we have to do? We have to add plus plus so that it will increment. Okay, and increment plus one. Will we start with the zero and then it will go for the length. Okay. See. Okay. So you are getting the output 40. Okay. So this is using of while, but uh, from the starting one means it will start from. I have given set it to minus one, then it will start from the zero up to length minus one. Okay. Now there is another situation of using while with from end. Okay. So we have to comment this while end. Okay. So this is the scenario where you can use. You can have to use i is not there okay we have to length here and the length minus minus and you have to use 
the length here okay so this is from the last index it will start from the last index and then it will decrement one by one okay and you will get the result of total sum okay so this is the method six and now we will go for the another method in which we will use evaluate okay evaluate is also the javascript method okay so you can also use evaluate but it is the heavy task work for the processing okay so don't use rarely rarely have to use so for that what we have to do we have a function what we can you do is to return eval and inside eval you have to use an array and then you will join with plus okay then we will have written eval okay so this is using the eval you can see that when you use the array with joining with plus string and then you will have evaluate it it will give your output okay now the last one is the method seven or this so our last method is its method which is by using recursive okay so basically we will use the recursive to get the okay so what we will do for breaking the loop recursive loop is length equal to equal to 1 and then we will use ternary operator okay then we will return index first otherwise we will use as a dot pop and plus get sum and again we will pass the array okay so you can see in the output we are getting 40 so this is the basic methods we there you can use to get the sum of array in js okay the so the simplest way you can use is to using the for loop which is very much faster than everyone while it also fast if you start to use start or end okay so for and do while is better to use evaluate is more heavy and recursive is also heavy task okay so but you can have knowledge of this okay so recursive one is much complex you can see it's look complex okay but uh, yes we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine types of methods where you we can get the sum of an array okay so subscribe our channel for such videos on the javascript practice question and uh, thanks for watching our video